How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all a game of ranked seasons. We're going to be playing for the championship series division as well as a bunch of debuts. I talked about previously in my last video uh, talking about debuting these cards individually. I figured I'll just put them all in the rank season squad i will have a variety of players to try out and go ahead and see what happens since i'm playing for the championship series i got kind of off to a poor start in this season of rank seasons and uh started off one and three and now i've won my last five games so i'm looking to continue on with the win streak we're going up against bob feller he also has craig biggio i recently picked up Craig Biggio. He will be in batting in the leadoff spot. And here he is right here. First at bat. I just dropped the PCI there, popped it up to center field. And uh, this guy has a pretty good team. He's got some really good power in his lineup. He has the new Hanley Ramirez. He also is using face of the franchise Joey Gallo. Here we're making our very first at bat with Mickey Mantle. I recently completed all of the live series collections and I'll also link that video in the description as well as pin it in the comment section down below. I talked a little bit about my personal life right there in that video and uh, got off to a pretty good start with Mickey Mantle. A good okay line drive right to center field. Reggie Jackson though is stealing the show in this debut video. I mean Reggie Jackson hits a solo shot the very first at bat. Gives us a one-run lead. Now that brings up Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield is also making his debut on the squad. I'm playing him at third base. I thought that his fielding might be an issue over there at third base with 58 reaction. I'm looking to get him prestige. So that way he'll have at least a couple more reaction attributes as well as defense. But uh, to start the game off, I'm also using Max Scherzer. Very first time using Scherzer. And a uh, four-pitch walk to Mike Trout. I threw a fastball with early feedback mislocation with that one craig biggio sends it up the middle nice play from mickey mantle in center field i'm i want to test out his range i want to test out his arm strength i'm not looking to do so here in the very first inning though i mean only have a one run lead that one we got lucky hit a line drive with joey gallo right to reggie jackson he makes the play got the ball in pretty quick as well now we have two down we can get out of this inning i hung a slider right there to hanley ramirez and he smacks that one into the gap off the wall. We're playing at Coors Field. I feel like the ball is going to fly here, playing at higher elevation. And it just seems like the ball really travels in this field. The few games of ranked seasons I've played have been fairly high scoring. So we get an opportunity to tie the game up, top of the second inning. First at bat of the inning, Ryan Sandberg goes deep to tie it up. So 2-2. Two to two. I figured I would use my creative player at shortstop. Here's the gold attributes. He does have pretty solid stats. 90-something contact, 80 power against righties, as well as diamond fielding with 87 speed. And this is, just the, this is just the gold card with base stats. I did pick up some equipment items. After uh, locking in Mickey Mantle, I was able to redeem some stubs back. Figured I would pick up the equipment items that I sold in order to complete those collections. There I missed a hanging slider. I'm using uh, Pablo Sanchez in the 8 spot. Because he does have the speed, he has the switch hitting ability, and he's probably my worst card on the team. I'll use him in the 8 spot for now, but once I get the diamond, I'll definitely move him up in the order. As he hits a no-doubter right there, we have Max Scherzer up at the plate with 2 outs. So we need to try and extend the inning. Or whether we get a hit or not, he's going to not lead off the next inning. So that's good. But he clutches up with a double. That ball was absolutely smashed. And that was with uh, one strike. So I, I was ready for that pitch down the plate. I was ready for it. I know the banner, the home run banner was blocking the scoreboard there. But we are up 3-2 to two after taking the lead here in the second. And also drawing a walk with Craig Biggio. Have a 3-2 count with Mickey Mantle. He also gets on base with the walk. So we had the runners in motion there. We have bases loaded now up for Reggie Jackson, who already has a home run in the game. I'm waiting for a pitch thrown over the middle of the plate. Bob Feller does not have the best control. And there it is. Fastball right down the plate. We go with it the other way. I thought Mike Trout was going to make that play. I thought he was going to get to the ball. His fielder is kind of uh, lagging out there. And luckily that ball got down. Clear the bases there. And that's all due to Max Scherzer extending the inning with a two-out double. Ryan Sandberg hits another double into the gap. That's going to clear the bases as well. Gary Sheffield drew a walk. 71 speed is coming around to score. So we scored three runs off of three walks in that last inning. And that's big because this guy had a pretty good ranked seasons record. He's a good hitter. I can definitely tell that he's locked in at the plate. He's able to square the ball up consistently. There he goes the other way with Todd Helton. He had Todd Helton batting in the bottom portion of his lineup. But that Todd Helton is very good. That card can really get something going. Luckily, we 
were able to get out of that last inning. Bottom of the third, one down, and Craig Biggio sneaks one through past Gary Sheffield. That's what I was talking about with the fielding over there. I even feel that Glaber Torres would make that play. He has a little bit more range, has that better reaction attribute. Luckily, Matt Olson is picking that one up and uh, touching first base there, unassisted play there. That was a great reaction from him. He has diamond fielding. I've really noticed Matt Olson playing extremely well at first base. I've kind of taken out the face of the franchise, Josh Bell. I've gone with a couple different cards, different options, and this opponent would not, he would not go down without a fight. Two out rally, get something going here. Todd Helton, once again, misplayed by Mike Trout. Luckily, we are going to get this back pick play right here where we get out of the inning, but we do give up the run. So up eight to three, Gary Sheffield up at the plate, hits a double to lead off this inning. So that's big. That was, this is his debut. That's his first hit that I've had with him. 71 speed is going to make it into second easily. I thought about trying to go for third base, but I figured to start off the inning, there's no sense in trying to uh, be risky and, and take the extra base on that misplay in left field. We are, we are able to take a risk right there on the ground ball to shortstop, advance to third base. But then he walked Mike Trout and I popped up with Matt Olson. I was not able to get the job done. And that's unfortunate. Every time you have a guy on third base with less than two outs, you really need to be able to score that run. And I just didn't capitalize in that last inning. Against a good player like this, it's nice that I have a five run lead. I was able to have a seven run inning, but each and every situation I need to capitalize on because once I went to the lefty, Araldis Chapman to face Gallo. He had a three-run shot. That is a big swing of events right there. Could easily be a nine-to-six ball game, which makes it a lot different than an eight-to-six game. Anyway, we're looking to get those runs right back. After uh, he hit a three-run homer, I'm trying to respond with at least one or two of my own. I might not get all three of them right back, but I'm trying to chip away at the runs that he just earned. So here with Mickey Mantle, his third at bat, another good okay, just barely off of the ball there. PCI placement wasn't terrible. But just the timing window, if I swung a little bit early and got that ball out in front, I might have been able to pull it for a home run or at least a ball into the gap. But Reggie Jackson, once again, is picking up the team. Two outs, fastball over the middle of the plate against Mariano Rivera, and he goes deep to dead center field, making it a 10-6 ball game. So we got a couple runs right back. That's big because I had a great pitch to hit with Mickey Mantle. I missed it. Reggie Jackson in the third spot of the lineup picks us up. We go with Sean Doolittle in relief. This card is, is okay. I mean, he has pretty good stats. He's got great control and decent per nines in terms of hits and Ks per nine with good pitching clutch. So that's good. But at the same time, he's, he doesn't really have that much of a deceptive motion. He can be very easy to pick up. Luckily, he squared the ball up, hit it right to the creative player, and we were able to get out of that last inning. Now, Pablo Sanchez up with two outs after Matt Olson hits a triple to the uh, uh to the right field side and it just hit off the wall was able to get to third base go deep with a two run shot his second home run of the game and that was big off of cody allen i was having a tough time picking up uh between the changeup, deciphering between the changeup and the fastball with that cody allen and his knuckle curve does have a lot of break but this opponent is not going away he is continuing to hit we go to adam Adovino, who's also making his debut and he gives up a base hit and a two run shot right away era is infinite uh unable to get out of the inning with him only got one out and then this play right here i'm not quite sure what happened to the clip but he hit a ground ball up the middle a diving play from the creative player turned into a double play and that was a big change that was a big part of why we still have the lead in this game i mean he that was a base hit and pablo sanchez made the diving stop turn two and he probably would have had first and third with one out in that situation. Anyway, now we're up at the plate. We have a great opportunity after a leadoff triple from Craig Biggio. That card is really good. I'm really looking forward to using that card in the leadoff spot for quite some time. Mickey Mantle, I got a little over aggressive with Mickey Mantle right there. Just ground out to third base. Now we get a uh, contact swing with Reggie Jackson, just trying to manufacture that run. He goes home with it. Mike Schmidt is in the game now for Gary Sheffield at third base because he has diamond fielding. He also hits lefties really well and I already brought Mike Schmidt in as a defensive replacement it just so happened that he was going up against Josh Hader in that last inning so we scored one more run big two out hits in this game K 
kept us uh, with the lead. I mean, this opponent would have been able to take the lead and score a lot of runs. He has 10 runs in the ball game. If we did not continue to hit the ball, we only had one big inning in this game with a seven spot. But uh, I had to go to Corey Kluber to close this one out. This guy is definitely a good player. He can hit, and I'm trying to make championship series. I'm going for that 20,000 XP or so, whichever you get for getting there, and that's what I'm really looking to do. But we need three outs, and we can't seem to get one because he gets something going here, a base knock from Hanley Ramirez. That's going to bring up the heart of his order. Duke Snyder facing a righty, and that's never good. He's going to flare one into right field. Luckily, Reggie Jackson gets the ball in front of him and throws the runner out at second base on a force out. Very next play, the clip kind of cut out, and we had a double play ball from Buster Posey to Ryan Sandberg, just not fast enough with the turn. Now we got to face Todd Helton to close this one out. The game tying run is on deck if he's able to get something going with Todd Helton, so we don't have to worry about giving up a home run in that situation. We end up getting the win, moving up to 824, and now I'll go ahead and open up the championship series pack. You'll see the XP there as I redeem 32,500 from playing the game as well as a few thousand stubs for making it into championship series also the players tournament was going on we'll have a twitch drop pack to open uh the first night of this game when it was released i had 10 twitch drop packs through watching the streams and they would reveal stuff over the uh, course of the game being released and i actually pulled mike trout out of one of those packs so here we go. Let's see if we can do it again. We got another Twitch drop pack right here. A couple bronzes. Not bad at all. That's going to do it for this video. We end up pulling Manny Machado out of that championship series pack. We had a bunch of debuts. And I'm really looking forward to continuing on using some of these cards. Until next time, everyone. Peace out.